Good morning and God bless you. Today is Friday of the ninth week of Ordinary Time. What I love about Ordinary Time, when there is not a obligatory memorial or feast day for a saint, that we have uh, abilities or options to offer any number of votive masses. Uh, as you know, here at St. Peter's, we often offer on Fridays the votive mass for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. But another votive mass that I love is the votive mass of the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is what we offer today at Mass this morning. The votive mass for the precious blood highlights the importance of the passion and death of Jesus in the plan and the work for our salvation. And it takes us to that scene in the Gospel of John. Jesus crucified in between two thieves, two criminals, and the soldiers come up to them. Uh, it's getting close to sundown, and so they break the legs of the two on either side in order to quicken their death. When they come to Jesus, he's already dead. But to verify it, one of the soldiers pierces the side of Christ. And John is very careful to note what he sees. Out of his side flows blood and water. That blood, which we all know, was shed on the cross for our salvation. Jesus says at the Last Supper, when he raises the chalice, that cup of wine, that becomes his blood, this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of our sins. Peter has this beautiful line in his first letter. You were redeemed not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. One of the highlights for me in the Mass, and always a highlight, and it's hard for me to fully comprehend what is actually being lifted up at this moment, to fully appreciate. But the moment when I lift the chalice of the precious blood of Jesus above the altar, it's, it's a moment where it's just hard to imagine that I'm actually holding lifting up the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And to think at that moment, this is the blood. This is the blood that has forgiven all my sins. It's the blood that will continue to forgive any future sins. It's the blood that has forgiven all the sins of the world. And that is being held up in the chalice at every single Mass. My goodness, the angels and the saints in heaven must be on their faces in adoration in that moment. Maybe sometimes we feel like being on our faces because we are so grateful, we are so humbled, we have such a love and devotion to that blood that was shed out of love for us that we can be forgiven. Let's never get used to this. There's a litany uh, that has been put together that helps to shed light on the mystery of the blood of Jesus and its power, its power to save, to redeem, to protect, to sanctify. 
to strengthen. This is what I love about litanies. They're not only prayers that express our love and devotion, but they're instructional. They form us about the, the mystery that they honor. This devotion was uh, publicly approved in 1960 by John the 23rd. And July, as you may know, is a month that is especially dedicated to the devotion to the precious blood of Jesus, even though it can be prayed anytime, as well as the votive mass can be offered anytime throughout the year where it is allowed. So I thought we would today pray this litany. We're not going to pray the whole thing. It's a shortened version. As you know, with litanies, there's a phrase followed by a response. Several phrases and then followed by the same response. The response today is, save us. So I will read a phrase, and then together we will say, save us. So here's the litany. Again, it's a shortened version. Blood of Christ of the, of the new eternal testament, save us. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross, save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation, save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness, save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls, save us. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy, save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons, save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs, save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril, save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened, save us. Blood of Christ, solace for the sorrowing, save us. Blood of Christ, hope and confidence of all penitents, save us. Blood of Christ, consolation for the dying, save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life, save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory, save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor, save us. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, who shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of sins. Grant, we beg of you, that we may always adore with love and thanksgiving the precious blood that was shed for our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from all evil in this present life, that we may rejoice in its saving fruits forever in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, God bless your day. May the precious blood of Jesus always refresh and renew us. May it continue to cleanse and redeem us. May the precious blood be upon you upon your families and all those dear to you. God bless your day. I'll see you tomorrow.